Over 2 million people are on the waiting list to access Manus AI, an autonomous AI agent that's sparking a revolution in the world of artificial intelligence. This powerful tool can plan and execute tasks from start to finish with incredible efficiency. And here's the exciting part. Zeek Analytics got an exclusive early access to this tool. And for the first time ever on YouTube or on any other platform, we're putting Manus AI to the test for e-commerce purposes. Will it deliver good results? Well, let's find out together in this video. Now, before we dive into some real examples using this revolutionary tool, let's break down how Manus AI works and why it's about to change the dropshipping world forever. Unlike traditional chatbots like ChatGPT or DeepSeek, which work on a question answer method, Manus AI operates independently, executing complex tasks from start to finish without constant human input. You can give it a task and it will plan everything from start to finish, assigning different AI agents to handle each part. For example, one agent might break down the request into subtasks. Another will search the web for the most accurate data and another will write code and visualize that data on a website and so on. It's like building a team of experts except they're all AI and they never sleep. In this video, we're going to ask an AI agent to autonomously create the most efficient product research process using Zeek Analytics. It'll log in by himself into Zeek Analytics using the username and password we provided. Yep, we literally made login credentials for an AI agent. If that's not living in the future, I don't know what it is. After that, it will need to find for us five dropshipping products along with their sourcing from AliExpress with at least a 75% profit margin and high social media engagement, and then deliver the results either in an Excel file or via an interactive website it actually builds for us. Can Manu say I handle this complex task? Well, Let's find out. All right, let's head over to Manus AI. This is what the interface looks like. Pretty simple, if you ask me. Now let's go ahead and send the request. Here is the exact prompt I used. Hello, I want to give you access to Zeek Analytics, the best software that helps find winning products for dropshipping. I need you to find products with at least a 75% profit margin and high social media engagement. These are my credentials for www.zekeanalytics. Com. I want you to find five of the best dropshipping products using Zeek Analytics. Here are some materials to help you learn how to use it. These are some YouTube videos from our channel that explain how to conduct thorough product research using Zeek Analytics. I'm sharing these because this tool functions just like an employee. It can watch videos and learn from them. The products can be from any niche as long as they have 75% or higher profit margins after Shopify fees and show high social media engagement because I'm planning to market them organically on TikTok. I also want to use the item finder in Zeek Analytics to source a reliable supplier from AliExpress to each product you will find that match my criteria. Here is a video on how to use the item finder. And then I will click on start. Okay, so I see that Manu say I started by creating a plan to find high profit dropshipping products using Zeek Analytics. Wow, can you see it? It's writing that it's learning how to use Zeek Analytics from the provided tutorial videos. Oh my God, that's absolutely amazing. Okay, so it's literally reviewing the YouTube videos I provided to him. That's wow. So this tool is literally learning how to use Zeek Analytics in the best way. Okay, so it has asked me a question. And the question is, I noticed you've provided login credentials for Zeek Analytics in your message. Before I proceed with logging into the account, I want to make sure you're aware that sharing login credentials with AI assistance is generally not recommended for security reasons. Would you like me to? 
continue with the task using the provided credentials, suggest alternative approaches that don't require me to log into your account. And I will respond, yes, it's okay for me. You can use the credentials I provided to you. Okay, so now it's accessing Zeek Analytics by itself and I can see it's navigating to the product research tool. And just like a good employee, it prefers to work in dark mode. All right, so let's see what Manus does now that it's inside the Product Explorer tool. Will it know how to navigate and apply the right filters? Well, let's find out. Okay, so this is amazing. It's selected to view products that are only sold in dropshipping stores, and it filtered for stores that use TikTok as their main ad channel. That's actually a smart strategy. By focusing on products promoted through TikTok, it's targeting items with proven demand on the platform. If a seller is running TikTok ads for a product, chances are it's getting good and converted traction from TikTok. Under the sales filters, I see it added a minimum of 100 sales and $1,000 in revenue over the past 30 days and set a minimum product price to $20, which is great since it helps us focus on higher margin products. Honestly, these are solid filters that align perfectly with the criteria we gave Manus AI at the start of this video. And now I see that Manus is starting to scan the products it found using Zeek Analytics. Okay, so some minutes left and I see that Manus has stopped on this jellyfish lamp, which is a product that I know from my own knowledge has high demand on TikTok. And I see that it started to use the item finder to find and source to this product from AliExpress. All right, so Manus AI has been working for almost 35 minutes now and it has already reviewed several products it found using Zeek Analytics. Now I can see it's starting to vet suppliers for those products, and I'm definitely curious to see what the final results will look like. One important thing to mention, so far I had to step in twice to take control of Manus's computer and solve a CAPTCHA that AliExpress threw at it during the process. The cool part, Manus recognized it that it was a CAPTCHA and asked me to take over so it could keep going. So yeah, even AI agents need a little human help sometimes. Okay, so now it's probably the last part of the research. I see that Manus AI has access to TikTok and he is probably checking the engagement for the potential products. This is exactly what I want to see. It means that Manus is not guessing what product can work well using TikTok traffic. He's checking and verifying it exactly as I want and have expected from an e-commerce expert to do before suggesting to me winning products to add to my dropshipping store. All right, while well, Manus AI is busy summarizing the data into final results, if you're enjoying this video so far and want to see more real use, cases of AI agents for e-commerce, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to get started with Zeek Analytics and maybe even connect it to Manus AI once it's publicly available, you can subscribe today for just $1 for the first week. Okay, so after another 15 minutes, it looks like Manus AI is ready with the results and it delivered them on a custom website it created to make the data easier to view. So so, are you ready? Let's click on the list Manus gave us to check out the results. So, all I have to say is this is a really nice looking site Manus Agents created for us. I honestly couldn't have asked for a better way to receive the data. So, you're witnessing what could be the beginning of an AI revolution. We didn't just get a list of product suggestions. We got a full-blown research product backed by data from Zeek Analytics. I can see key metrics pulled directly from Zeek, such as units sold and revenue in the past. 30 days, along with product selling price from the dropshipping store. There are also buttons that take me straight to TikTok engagement. The store's website, which I believe is the dropshipping store selling the product, 
the AliExpress source, and a full product analysis from Zeek Analytics. If all of this is accurate, this is even better than what I could have asked for. Let's start with the first product, her king and his queen couples ring. Let's check out the TikTok engagement. This is great. It links directly to the products page on TikTok, so I can verify the trend myself. There are some solid videos here with high likes and engagement, which tells me this product really is performing well on social media. Now let's check out the store's website. Looks good. I can see exactly where this product is being sold and take best practices from this store copy images layout and more perfect for building a high converting product page let's click on the aliexpress link now okay so the price manus pulled is accurate but it didn't factor in the three dollars and 20 cents for the shipping cost that said it did manage to find a product with a 4.8 star rating and 52 sales which is solid. Even after adding the shipping cost, the profit margin is still very decent. Now let's hit the view on the Zeek Analytics button. It links to the store analysis using Zeek's sales tracker, so I can get even more insights into how the product is performing in real time. So overall, Manus did a great job. The only small hiccup was not including shipping costs from AliExpress, which is something I can easily address next time by including that instruction into the task. For this first product, I'd say Manus was spot on. It used Zeek Analytics to find a product that's trendy, profitable, and social media ready. Now let's quickly review the other four products Manus found. Electric ear cleaner. After reviewing the data, I'd say this one isn't the best fit for TikTok. It's more of a semi-medical product and personally, I wouldn't add it to my store, especially considering the low profit margin. Jellyfish lamp. Let's check out the TikTok engagement. So this one screams TikTok viral. Look at the great engagement this product has on TikTok. Many of the videos were able to get high number of likes and this is what I would want to see. I see that Manus found using Zeek Analytics that this product has 2,268 sales in the past 30 days. Because this product has high sales and tons of social proof, it definitely passes my criteria. Now let's review the portable blender. The engagement on TikTok looks great and it's the kind of product that's easy to make eye-catching videos for. It sold 117 units in the last 30 days and everything checks out. This product also passes my criteria to a good product to add to a dropshipping store. Let's review the LED light strip. So TikTok engagement for this niche is really strong. Lots of likes and shares. However, the store Manus found using Zeek only sold 12 units in the past 30 days. So this one needs a bit more manual research or I could ask Manus to go deeper and reanalyze the product from more dropshipping stores using Zeek Analytics. Okay, so let's summarize the results. Three out of five products, her king and his queen, couples ring, jellyfish lamp, and portable blender are perfect fits for dropshipping stores. They align with our TikTok marketing strategy and offer decent profit margins. The last product, the LED light strip, has potential but needs deeper research before making a decision. The other product, which is the electric ear cleaner, I would skip. It's not TikTok friendly and the margin is too low. So there are some limitations. Manus AI didn't include AliExpress shipping costs in the profit calculation. So I will need to guide it to account for that the next time or I'm going to be the one who is checking for the product source. Also, I would say that especially at the beginning of a new task, it's important to guide the agents to work and focus on things as you desire. For example, I needed to guide the agent and show where the item finder is located in Zeek Analytics and explain to him that in the final file, I also want links to the product from TikTok so that I can analyze the social media engagement of the product myself. Additionally, I asked the data to be displayed in USD rather than other currencies. So it's quite possible that on the first attempt, you will need to guide the agent. 
But think of it as a training session for an employee. There is a learning phase. Once you get the results you want, you can instruct the agents that from now on, this is the work process and all of the data in this format that you expect. So what do you think of Manus AI? Are you planning to give it a try when it becomes publicly available? I'm convinced this kind of autonomous AI agent is going to completely change the game, not just in general, but especially in e-commerce. Now that you've had a sneak peek at what these agents can do for your dropshipping business, it's the perfect time to start planning how you can use them wisely in your daily operations. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay ahead of the curve and catch more AI use cases before anyone else. Keep moving forward and I will see you in the next one.